morning, everyone, and apologies. We've been having some internet issues um, this morning, so we pray that everything is rectified right now. So we will begin as we usually do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, celebrating today the feast of St. Norbert, let us call to mind. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. Almighty God, of mercy, let us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the bishop St. Norbert a servant of your church, our standing in his prayer and pastoral zeal, while we pray that by the help of his intercession, the flock of the faithful may always find shepherds after your own heart, and be fed in the pastures of salvation. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to look after my flock myself and keep all of it in view. As a shepherd keeps all his flock in view and stands up in the middle of a scattered sheep, so shall I keep my sheep in view. I shall rescue them from wherever they have been scattered throughout during the mist and darkness. I shall bring them out of the countries where they are. I shall gather them together with foreign, from foreign countries and bring them back to their own land. I shall pasture them on the mountains of Israel, the ravines and in every inhabited place in the land. I shall feed them in good pasturage. The high mountains of Israel will be their grazing ground. There they will rest in good grazing ground. They will browse in rich pastures in the mountain of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will show them where to rest. It is the Lord who speaks. I shall look for the lost one, bring back the stream bandage the wounded and make the weak strong. I shall watch over the fat and help me. I shall be a true shepherd to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. To revive my drooping spirit. For the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of death, no evil will I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these who give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Alleluia. Happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them. If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, in his own life too, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Indeed, which of you here intending to build a tower would not first sit down and work out the cost? see if he had enough to complete it. 
Otherwise, he will lay the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the wood. The onlookers would all start making fun of him and saying, Here's a man who started to build and was unable to finish. Or again, what king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other, who advanced against him with 20,000. If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So again, apologies. We've been having some internet issues uh, this morning, and hopefully everything is rectified right now. You cannot be my disciple unless you take up your cross. Today we celebrate another reformer, like Boniface, whom we celebrated yesterday. Norbert was born to nobility. He was raised around the royal court of Emperor Henry V. There he developed a very worldly views and rubbed shoulders with the who's who in society. And was one of those priest people who saw priesthood only as a career move. And he joined the Benedictines at Seed Group. A narrow escape from death, however, led to a conversion experience. And he began to take his vows and his priesthood more seriously and truly dedicated himself to God. He tried to reform his order's local house, then became a wandering preacher when they did not take him on. He founded a community known as the Norbertines or the Prima Monstratensians, a group dedicated to his preaching, education, and pastoral work. He started a reform movement that swept through the monastic houses in Europe and was the biggest order of his day at the time. He became Archbishop of Magdeburg in Germany reformed the clergy in his scene, and is known as the great defender of the sacrament of the Eucharist and a legendary peacemaker. Thomas Kunkel notes that in the last stage of Norbert's life, he was effectively the Henry Kissinger of the 12th century, mediating disputes and power plays between the emperor and the pope himself, and he calls him a man on fire. He considers just one thing today, you cannot be my disciple unless you give up all your possessions. Now, when Jesus says this, he's basically saying we must give up our attachments, whatever they may be. Originally, Norbert was attracted to become priest and religious, as I said, for the wrong reasons. He wanted to move up in society. He wanted money, recognition, fame, until through God's grace he changed and gave up all those things and all those desires and became entirely different. He detached himself from who he was and became a man truly on fire for God. You know, many people do things for the wrong intention. Some have their children baptized only so they can get into Catholic school. Some do ministry just to be seen. Some come to have a mass set for one intention, and you never ever see them again until the next time they have some crisis in their life. God challenges us, brothers and sisters, to give up anything to which we are attached and put God as first in our life and follow Him completely give up whatever it is we're attached, be it an addiction, possessions, desire for fame, desire to be recognized, desire to be loved, desire for money, and even before our family itself, God must come first. May we, like St. Norbert, have the strength to totally detach from what is not of God in our life, detach from what is keeping us back from serving Him purely and completely, and change our life, and really become His disciples, May we have the courage to be faithful even when everyone is against us. May we take up the cross in our life and follow Jesus, regardless of what people may think of us. So that one day we too, like Norbert and Boniface and all the saints, may be people on fire for God, and one day enter the kingdom of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We stand to bring before Heavenly Father all the needs that we have. 
We pray for the church throughout the world, for Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Jason, for all bishops, priests, and deacons. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We continue to lift up all of our frontline uh, workers, doctors, nurses, hospital, technical staff, janitors, security, all essential workers at this time. In the name of Jesus, we pray for an end to this pandemic. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our Carmelite way of life. For our students, Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, and Dave and David from Augusta, that they may be holy priests. We pray for our newly ordained brothers, Mikhail, Paul, and Jeff, that they may be exemplary priests and good shepherds. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for God's greater blessings today upon Joanne Grandison, Ian Gore, and Divine Mitchell. Continue to pray for the special intention of Andrew for a breakthrough in his situation, and for breakthrough for Kimber Sarzano. We lift up in a special way in the family, Gadari, Gaidin, and Gillen families. And we continue to pray for the people of the U.S. at this time for a peaceful resolution to the situation there. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray for healing for Christian young women. George Tangshun, Jennifer Prasad, Felicia Oliveri, Patrick Valadin, Vincent Gaidi, no Joel Gadari, Norma Helen, Della Marie, and for all those who have COVID-19, Lord Harris, Lord gracious Harris. For the repose of the souls of all of our deceased loved ones, especially George Lloyd, Diana Spencer, Hugh Joyum, Arnar Ein Sagan, Arman Hussain, Mikhail Samanov, Yasmin Musaji. John Tarrier, Dan Hartman, Noel Guillen, and Ray Soyum, and all those who have died as a result of Corona, Lord hear us, Lord gracious hear us, and for all those needs which we hold in the silence of all hearts. As we prepare to celebrate uh, the Feast of the Holy Trinity this weekend, we pray for our own land of Trinidad and Tobago. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We unite these prayers to those of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make. We make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Change my heart, O Lord, make it ever true. Change my heart, O Lord, may I be like you. You are the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me, this is what I pray. Change my heart, oh make it ever true. Change my heart, oh May I be like Praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. To look at favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on the feast day of blessed Norbert, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As on the festival of St. Norbert, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we declaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given him. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, it may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially George Lloyd, Diana Spencer, Hugh Joyo, Heine Ryan Sagan, Naraman Hussain, Mikhail Samanov, Yasmin Musaji, Noel Galen, Ray Sawyer, Joan Tardier, Dan Hartman, and all those who have died from corona or from accidents. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Norbert, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to return to life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We praise Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, it may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And now pray our act of spiritual communion. This prayer can be found on the EWTN website. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated.
His gentle hand, He stretches over me. The storm clouds threaten the day He will set me free. He comes to me in sharing bread and wine. He brings me life that will reach past the end of time. On this first Saturday, we now have our consecration. Eternal Father, in the Holy Spirit, I want to consecrate and commit myself and all those listening to the hearts of Jesus and Mary and to be a more devoted and faithful child. Mother Mary, today I and all those who are listening Commit myself to your immaculate heart. Keep me under your maternal protection and lead me to your Son, Jesus. Lord Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I consecrate and commit myself to your sacred heart. Mold my heart after your heart, so that you will live in me evermore. Sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary, with this consecration and commitment, I return to you the love you showed me in your earthly lives, especially on Calvary, and which you show me still to be. At the same time, I renew my baptismal consecration to the triune God. I renounce sin, temptation of evil, and the devil. I believe in everything that God has revealed to us, and which the Catholic Church teaches us. I promise to fulfill Jesus' commandment of love for God and my neighbor, the commandments of God and of the Church, and to act according to the doctrine of the Church under the successor of St. Peter. In this way, I want to contribute to the unity and growth of the Church. I will personally pray the rosary with my family and other communities and observe the devotions of the first Fridays and Saturdays, making reparation for the sins of my sins and the sins of all mankind. O sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary, help me to accept the gospel in my heart and to live it in faith, hope, and love, that Jesus Christ will, through his cross and resurrection, become the way, the truth, and the life for me. May I be nourished in heavenly bread and live out the sacrifice of the Eucharist, so that I will overcome every evil and always choose life. Full of trust, I seek shelter in your loving hearts. Protect me in all dangers, and now for this earthly pilgrimage, take me to my eternal home in heaven. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. St. Norbert, pray for us. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Norbert, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your love. Thanks be to God. We invoke the intercession of St. Michael, praying for an end to this pandemic as we pray with faith. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this morning. Apologies again for earlier with the internet connection. So sometimes even though we want to start at 7, sometimes, you know, um, things go awry. And so just be aware of that when you try to uh, tune in. Uh, we remind you that we do have Mass tomorrow at 7, God willing, at the same time. So I encourage you to um, be safe out there. Uh, whatever you do, remember to follow the of various um, protocols um, established by the authorities, maintain physical distancing, wear the mask, etc. I encourage you to have um, a wonderful day um, and see you tomorrow. God bless.